Let's go. Detroit Ballin', it's part of the culture. It's a deep base, the trade you in a poster. You know the facts, so while we test the roaster. Killing your haze, deadly handles our exposure. Cool composure, team stack to win the chip. Act like I ain't told you. First round. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Pist and Mike. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't cost you anything, not even nickel or dime. Get them t shirts and link in the description. Also, man, shout out to Alice for always keeping me updated, you know. Um, yeah, man. Let's get into today's video. Don't skip them ads for your boy. Let's get into it, though. Go subscribe to Piss and Weekly Report. But the um, former 2019 Detroit Piss and former Larry Pick is now still a free agent, you know what I'm saying, has probably played his last. His last season of basketball in the NBA looked like he's about to go back overseas. No other than Seku Demboya, the six foot eight, freak athletic nature. I remember he dunked on somebody, you know, so so hard. And his rookie season, he looked so so good. He was oozing potential. I remember in the pre-draft workout, they said he hit 15 threes in a row. He looked like he was going to become the next, you know what I'm saying, great wing, but just never really put it all together. I don't think he never really got his confidence. Him and, I remember him and Killeen Hayes was supposed to be the French connection. Um, and Philly, Killian Hayes don't get it together. He, I don't know. Ain't going to be as bad as Sekou Duboya, but he might get traded, you know. So, but... That ain't about killing. This is about Seku, man. It's just sad to see that he has so much, all of this potential, you know. And we traded him uh, for DeAndre Jordan, and we got four second-round picks um, to the Nets. Then even played for a game for the Nets, got traded to Houston Rockets, then played for Rockets. Um, I think he ended up getting waived, and then he played for the Lakers. But he really played for the G League team, only averaged six points a game. Um, so it's just looking real sad. Maybe somebody takes, you know, a chance on him, but I highly doubt it. It's just he ain't never really I don't know, he used to make a couple good plays and then make really one bad one, or he just missed a couple shots, when they get back on defense. His confidence is very that was the problem with him. Um, he never really truly believed in himself and really had his confidence. I think it's a mental problem for him. Mental issues, man. If he put if he were um mentally strong and could put it all together, man, he he would still be on this team. He'd probably be he'd probably be the wing that we needed, you know, next to Sadiq Bay. So It'd be a lot more interest and a lot more fun to talk about the Pistons, but hey, he just never was, never was, and he ended up. Everybody ended up getting traded who wasn't a part, who wasn't drafted by Troy Weaver. That's another thing. He traded literally everybody, but Seku. He kind of gave him uh, an opportunity. You know, he gave him the most opportunity of everybody else. Everybody else instantly got traded. So. But he still wasn't showing improvement. Still um didn't show any potential and now he's pretty much out the lead, bro. Somebody might take a chance on him, but it might be one more shot, one or two more shots, and that's it, man. This is a cutthroat league. The draft is every year. People are retiring and you know what I'm saying, you can, once you get your shot, you get your shot, but you don't produce, man. You a lottery pick. You'll be out the league in like two or three years, four years, man. So you got to make it do what it do. Um, and he just didn't come up. He fell short. He don't He don't have it. He don't have it all the way mentally there. Um, that's why he's out the league, I believe. You know, that's why I've seen from what I've seen for him. He have one good game and then when the score None of the other games is just stuff like that. So, you guys, let me know how y'all feel about Sekum Dumbuya. Um, 
I wish nothing but the best for him. Maybe he, fi he finally gets it and goes somewhere else. Who knows? But I doubt it. Shout out to Alex Orange. Keep me updated. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't cost you anything. Not even a nickel or a dime. Make sure you get them t-shirts in the link in the description. It's your boy Piss and Mike. Don't skip the mask, man. I'm out. Peace. Know about y'all, but we come to I'm a buzzer grand. They all jumping in. Pissy Mike, we taking flight. Click like and subscribe. We can keep you right. Yes, Pissy Mike.